Welcome to Storytime from Space, a project of the Global Space Education Foundation. To learn how you can support this exciting project, please visit storytimefromspace.com. All right, welcome to Storytime from Space. My name is Serena Onan Chancellor on board Expedition 56 on the International Space Station. Welcome from home, welcome from your local library, wherever you may be today, even your school. Uh, welcome on board the International Space Station. And today we're gonna be reading A Moon of My Own by Jennifer Ruski. But just to tell you where we are right now, we are inside our airlock on board the ISS. And this is where we do all of our spacewalks from. And today I'm gonna be reading the story to you next to two of my good friends, spacesuit number one and spacesuit number two. And these are the special suits we put on to protect us outside in the vacuum of space when we do our spacewalks. And you may think, well, where do we leave the space station from to do that spacewalk? And it is right behind me in this tunnel right over here. You can't see it. We got a lot of equipment in there, even a little pair of feet sticking out. That's another suit over there. But when it's time for us to do the spacewalk, we clear all of that out and put the two astronauts inside and close this big hatch right here. And then they go outside the door safely. This is a really neat place to be. We get very excited when we get to come in this area uh, because we, knew, we know we're about to do a spacewalk and it's a lot of fun. Let's get started. A moon of my own. Hey there, moon. There you are again. I wonder, why do you follow me? Are you feeling lonely? And look, she's looking at the moon, and the moon is near the Eiffel Tower in Paris. I can be your friend, she tells the moon. I love to go on adventures. I think you do too. You must be very bright. I never tell you where I'm going, but somehow you always find me. Where is she now? Look at all these animals, giraffes and elephants. I think she's in Africa on a safari and the moon is still following her. Each night you seem a little different from the night before, but I always know it's you. And that's true. As the moon goes through its different phases, it looks different each night. Some nights you dart in and out of view. Are you playing hide and seek with me? And look, she thinks the moon is playing hide and seek. The moon is hiding behind a cloud. She's trying to find the moon. Just when I think you don't want to be found, your light comes shining through. And here from the space station, we see the moon too outside our beautiful windows in the cupola. And it is so bright and so beautiful. Other nights, you're bold and bright, a spotlight in the darkness that makes hidden things appear. And that's true, some nights the moon is so bright it lights up the entire night sky. One night, you were so gigantic you seemed to swallow up the sky. I felt like I could reach up and grab you. But my favorite is when the sky comes alive with colors. Do you do that just for me? And what she's looking at is something called the aurora. And we see the aurora up here on the space station and they're beautiful green, almost like fingers reaching from the Earth's surface. And that's one of the most beautiful things we've seen up here. We only see it over certain parts of the planet. Not every part on the planet can see an aurora. No matter how far away I go, you're right there with me. I like having you around. Who do you think she's with right now? What does that look like? It's a bunch of penguins. And when I'm tired, you are there to guide me home. I'm really lucky to have a moon of my own. It's really fun. Story time from space. Today, reading you a moon of my own. I hope you enjoyed your time on board the International Space Station with us here in the airlock and my two spacesuit buddies. 
Uh, they really enjoyed the story. I hope you did too from wherever you're at today. So long from ISS. Thank you for joining us for Storytime from Space. We hope you enjoyed our story today from the International Space Station. We hope you'll join us again soon for another book reading or for one of our science experiments. Until next time, we look forward to reading together again soon. Not a very good cartwheel. Try that again.